Um, we have a, a couple of issues that I have come across that we have nonprofit organizations that are registering um, their place of operation out of town hall. A lot, a lot. I have. Isn't you have that, a list? Boy, I'll tell you, that this is this is scary. It's the same <laughs> list that, that I, um, I I I went over that. Um, in the are past. you kidding me? No, this there's, there's a load of them. Okay, well, I was going to say, in that... 501c3s uh, that, that are using the town hall as their... Or other town hall bills as, as their, you know, their main place of... Um, so what I was going to say is that there's that, that um, yeah. some type of... I mean, I don't even know if it's that legal, but some type of policy on that, um, and uh, while we're at it, that we have the um, informational billboard out there where the clerk will have, you know, last day to register to vote, town meeting of these dates or whatever. Um, around the holidays, I saw that someone was performing somewhere and tickets were a certain amount of money. I don't know if that benefited the town, if that was, but if we could get, um, you know, and I don't want all of these approvals to have to go through the, the town administrator, but if we could come up with a policy um, on what, what that, board is used for as far as advertising um, and so that because I think right now it's pretty much if, if someone brings it in they'll put it up and and that isn't the way it should be and uh, same with the town website that we have things on the website that um, are not town related I mean I know we have links but we also have pages on our website that are part of the town's website of nonprofits of other the things that we don't know that we have on there, so um, I think we need that. And uh, let's see. Um, and finally, that um, the not only do we have the nonprofits that register, but I think that we need a, a building use policy relating that who and can, who can and cannot use um, the town buildings. Um, you know, we used to open it up, and I know that I had a um, an issue, or not an issue, but Miss Green and I had a discussion. Um, that there was a, a Cub Scouts or something that used it. And then there was a Girl Scouts that was looking to use it. And then there was another Girl Scouts. And if we're going, you know, if we're going to do sure. that, we have to look at, like, liabilities. We have to look at, I mean, I'm, I'm, getting, I'm guessing between Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts, you could probably fill every one of these rooms, you know, in these buildings um, that are available with for a week. Um, and, and I know that... Uh, Ms. Green did an excellent job at contacting um, local churches and stuff to get some of those groups into, but there's also, I know that this building, they're trying to get a, a handle on, you know, who are these people meeting and, and where and stuff, and some of them, they're of no relation to the town or they're not a, you know, organization that's required by law for us to do, so it's really, okay, so the website town building policy, the nonprofit registration, and the advertising on the town um, board that, um, I mean, we could just come up with a policy, but I think that we sure. look, in, look into you just more or less for guidance so that I don't want us to throw one in there and then you're stuck with that policy when it's not something that you Absolutely. say, hey, I don't want to look at this every day or something, and you might be able to clarify it a little. Um, and let's see. You know what, I think that'll be it. I think I might save the other one for next week. Okay. Is that it? Yeah. So liaison reports, anything? Well, the trustees, I told you that, library trustees, that was okay. under liaison. Okay. Mm, yeah, I think that's it. Okay.